You've probably seen Greg Doucette's anabolic French toast recipe. It's one of the first videos that I've seen from his and it's what made me want to follow him in the first place. If you haven't, I'll have the link up here or down below in the description box. Go check it out. But I've always wanted to make a vegan version of this and I actually did. A few months ago at the start of my cut, I actually came up with a vegan version of his anabolic French toast recipe and he actually commented on it saying that he also uses almond milk and a few other vegan ingredients from time to time, which is amazing. But that was at the start of my cut and sort of as I got leaner, so did the recipe. The recipe got simpler, but it also got more anabolic and I honestly think it got better. And I feel like I've come up with the best vegan anabolic French toast recipe. Now, Greg, if you're watching this, I'd love for you to try this recipe out and compare it to your own recipe. I honestly think this is so easy, high in protein and tastes absolutely delicious. So I'd love for you to try this recipe out and let me know what you think of this. This is the recipe that I used to get me looking from this to this. Obviously mixed with training harder than last time, but this recipe was so helpful in hitting those sweet cravings whenever I was craving something sweet like pancakes or just in general. And it really used to fill me up for a long time. So I owe this recipe a lot for anabolic French toast, one of my most favorite foods, especially on this cut. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make this amazing recipe. I started off with one cup of almond milk and I added in half a cup of water. I then added in two teaspoons of chia seeds. Now I'm using a mixture of chia seeds, hemp seeds and flax seeds. It's called HFHC. But you could either use grounded flax seeds or grounded chia seeds. It doesn't matter. Two teaspoons. This is going to act as the binding agent for this recipe. Sort of like the vegan egg replacement. So don't. This, this ingredient is really important. So make sure you're using chia seeds, flax seeds. And then we're going to add in half a teaspoon of baking powder. I then added in one scoop of vegan protein powder. I'm using salted caramel. And this had such a nice... Um, taste this added such a nice taste to the bread you can use whatever flavor you want but I used salted caramel and I mixed this around and stirred it really well I then added in three pieces of low carb high protein bread now I'm not a fan of protein bread I think it tastes like cardboard but this particular brand Helga's if you're in Australia this is one of the best my favorite bread because it actually tastes like bread even though it's high in protein and low in carbs this really soaks up all the flavors as well, so I really recommend using this bread. If not, you can just use any white bread that really soaks up the flavors. It doesn't matter, but I highly recommend using Helga's if you're in Australia. If not, just use any multigrain bread or white bread, whatever bread you want to use. So while this was soaking, I lightly sprayed a pan with olive oil spray for about a second and I let it heat up on low heat for a few minutes. I then added in the three pieces of bread and honestly, this is the waiting game. You just wait uh, for around five to six minutes until it's brown on each side and then you flip and make sure it's cooked on the other side. And all I did was wait until it was brown, which took me about five to six minutes on low heat. And honestly, this is it. That's the recipe. I then added this bread to a plate and then I topped it up with sugar-free maple syrup and frozen blueberries. As you can see, this recipe is super, super simple i'm amazed at how easy this recipe is and it tastes absolutely amazing of course you can add whatever else toppings you want bananas any kind of fruits but the bulk of this recipe is the almond milk the bread the chia seeds and the protein powder and that's where you're going to get the protein from in this case i'm getting most of my protein from the bread but Regardless, this is such an amazing recipe and that it just tastes so good. And I owe this recipe a lot during my cut because whenever I used to crave something sweet, like I said, I would just have this and it would fill me up for a long time. So Greg, if you're watching this, I'd love for you to try this recipe out. It's super simple as you just saw. And this is how I've made my vegan gains. So let me know what you guys think. And if you want to see what other foods that I eat every single day to get shredded as a vegan, you can click right here.